What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, so a little bit of last video. Um, I told you I would show you guys my engine off and what I did with it. So here's my engine off. I took basically everything off. Front plastics under there. Um, and basically everything else I took off is up in there. Um, my starter, this peg thingy, my front piece. Um, but basically just whatever I took off to get it off um but what i did to it is i cleaned my engine up i washed it off we got all the oil stuff off of it um we took the things we needed off we put rags on it covered up the holes that we needed to cover up and then i washed it and then i painted it yeah what you think um so what i'm doing is supposed to I'm grinding these off with this wire wheel thingy. It's not really a wire wheel, but a wire wheel around here. I'm almost done with it. Uh, I got all the way around here, down around here, and to here on the bottom section. And then I got all the way around to here on the other second section. So I just got to do from here to here, basically. Um, but yeah so this is basically what we've got right now um so yeah that's what we did and uh i will pick you guys back up once i've done some more it is really close to being able to ride i had to put that back on i'm gonna switch these t tires out for the chrome ones for pictures and stuff but that's basically all we have going on right now um it looks like tore apart a lot, but it doesn't take that long to get put back together. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do finish grinding around the engine, and then we'll see what we have to do next. Woo! Okay, so um, I finished this. I finished all the way around here. And I forgot to tell you that we got new studs for this ma uh, the front manifold here because, like... You knew already this one was broken off the side here. Um, so we just got two new ones um, just so they both matched upright and stuff. Cover on. Um, but we also did rebuild the carburetor. We put the, the new jets in, in it um, for the exhaust, for the aftermarket exhaust. And we also rebuilt the carburetor the, with the things that we got. Um, just to make sure that it r runs right, um, like I think I said already, um, we might be able to, uh, take it for a ride this weekend, um, um, so yeah, that's what we've got, parts are going down, light, both of these lights work, high and low beam, uh, we checked it out when we started it up, you saw that in the last video, I was really excited when that happened, uh, I was just, glad that uh, it didn't have anything wrong with the engine like we didn't have to rebuild it my dad uh, said that he thinks it was because whoever had it last uh, that this piece in here this I forget what it's called but the piece we replaced so it could start um, he thinks people that like broke uh, like stopped creating spark um, and it, they didn't know what to do and stuff so they just kind of sold it or whatever. I don't know what they did, but it didn't have anything wrong with it. Uh, we have the air box. I put, I got all of this rigged up. It's all in and hooked up, ready to go into the quad. Um, but yeah, so for this, we got a, uh, we're going to use the battery out of my Honda just for now until we get one because we don't have one right now so we're not going to go out and buy one just just for right now um but this the car the air box goes right here gas tank and then carburetor engine and then all that gets hooked up so um we went and got some wires off a guy um we got this uh fuse fuse piece fuse goes in the middle of here 
Um, we got a couple cables to connect to the battery, to the starter, and to the starter, to the handle switch, just so we could start it up and stuff off by a switch, so we do not have to, uh, jump start it every time, um, but we did get this part as well there, uh, we might have to do a little tack weld on here, because it's cracked right there, um, but that's basically all we got right now. Um, we also have to repaint this because my dad scratched that off. And my other part of the exhaust is just kind of beat up and stuff from not being on and getting moved around and different things over the time that we didn't have it on the quad and just trying to wiggle it into the spot on the quad. Uh, so it kind of just got messed up a little bit. But... It should be fine after we repaint it the matte black. It's like a heat matte black. Um, but that's basically all we got right now. I will pick you guys back up when we uh, accomplish another thing. So I'll catch you guys then. Okay, so the tire situation right now is... Um, so see those rims up there? The ones that shined up uh, in a video a while back. So um, these rims here are going to come off these tires and go on those rims and uh, th that set's going to go on the front back set uh, there are rims in those two tires um, which are nicer than these rims over here because these ones are all gouged up see right there that is literally a chunk taken out of the wheel I don't know how it happened uh, but I'm going to use those rims on those tires. Those tires are staying on. I'm going to use uh, the rims that are up there in those tires. Um, and then with the, X, the set of four chrome rims that I'll still have left, I'll probably get a set of like junk tires or whatever, and I'll probably figure out how to make them studded tires for like snow winter time. Um, so I have a set of winter tires and a set of just trail ride summer spring type tires if you know what I mean um but yeah that's basically all we got right now um we'll pick it back up when we do something else okay guys so so many things have happened uh we have got the engine on uh we got all the wiring hooked up the front plastic the air box like I'll just show you guys um so we did take it for a test spin just to make sure everything was okay and it is really muddy at our house so it kind of got dirty um so don't mind that uh I'm cleaning it real he here real soon um but yeah it runs good so in a second here I'm going to start it up for you guys uh so you can hear what it sounds like um it sounds pretty good so yeah let's get this started now. If it doesn't sound that loud to you there uh, across the screen, um, trust me, uh, believe me from being here, it's really loud. Um, so you'll definitely have a lot of upcoming videos of riding and stuff. Um, so yeah, so you're going to have to stay tuned for that stuff. Um, so we're going to have to wash this up, but before we do that, uh, the CDI box is hanging down just because I unbolted it. Um, but it's like, like, I'll tell you that later, but, um, we're going to clean it up here, um, so let's get washing.
think we did a great job on this. It's taken a while. Um, I know I didn't show you very much of uh, build process since I put the engine on, or right before I put the engine on. Basically, all that we did was we cleaned everything up. Uh, we cleaned all the engine up. We put uh, the car back on. Um, uh, sat the well, we sat the engine in here first, and then put the carb on, and then just exhaust and different things, obviously like plastic, gas tank, air box, just different things like that, and then hooked up all the wiring, um, just some obvious things like that. But we didn't really do much. It was just a long process, um, so it, I just kind of didn't want to film it all because it was a little tough for me so that's why I didn't film at all um, so from now on I'm gonna try to be a little more descriptive with my with what I'm doing um, so next uh, I will have to use Phillips screwdriver uh, and hook I, I can't sh really show you guys but uh, hook the CDI box back up uh, since it's kind of hanging down right there um, the two screws, I sat right in there, they're right down in there, um, and that hooks up right there and there. Um, so I'm going to go and hook that up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that it's all dried off and nice and clean, um, soaked it down, washed it, uh, uh, sprayed it off, uh, it's all clean. Um, when I was taking it for a ride, I definitely noticed, uh, my dad also said it too, um, that this bolt down here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's for it's for my shifter here. Um, it's it's loose there, um, and uh, I know I have to do a, a couple little other things, um, like put the CDI box back up. Um, but yeah, um, I will definitely have to change rims, tires. I'll show you that in a minute here. Uh, show you what I'm talking about for switching, switching the mount. Um, but currently, that's all that we have. I will, I'm really gonna just jump straight into working. So let's get it. Okay, so we have a quarter-inch drive here with an extension and a 10 millimeter socket on here. Um, so down here. Right where this is, you can see it's yeah, it's loose. So we're gonna tighten this up here. So and then right up here, I think I might have to bend a little more bit of the tabs over because there's like tabs for this nut that holds the sprocket on here. Um, so I might have to do that and this right here, I don't know why this engine is so dirty right now, but right here, this is a breathe, breather tube for uh, the engine down in there, um, but up in the here, I take this off, so I don't know if you can see it, but there's, might be zooming in a little bit much, but uh, Right here is a little tube thing, and a, a tube's gonna go from here to there, so it can have um, air to get in there without getting mud and water in there from uh, other things like that. But anyway, we're gonna keep working on this down here. Uh, I'm gonna finish getting this tightened up, but as we do that, um, I like a like down here up here uh, on my dash there is two light bulbs and one of them work and one of them don't like one has a bulb and one doesn't so we're gonna have to find another bulb for that okay that looks this has some play in it from being used before so that's fine the play here but uh, we just want to make sure that this bolt isn't coming out, and it's not. It's pretty tight here. Um, so, anything else here that we've got? So, next step in this build right here um, 
is we're gonna start doing the tail light. We're gonna get this hooked up. This is not the right tail light for this. The bracket and these clip thingies are right there. Um, but the light is not. Um, so what I have to do is I have to get this little eye hook piece here and strip the ends of the wire off and crimp it on. So what I have to do is I have to use these two tools here um, but I also have to unbolt one of these bolts and uh, get that right so I'm gonna set you up on the tripod and we're gonna go alright got that on got that piece on there uh, I don't know why the bottom screw didn't want to go in down there but I did get it on um, I do still have to mess with this backlight, try and find bolts that go all the way through the light and into this this piece here. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's basically all we have right now. Um, we're going to have to go out sometime and get a bit better, bigger hose because we didn't have any. Um, but for the most part, yeah, um, these both, both lights work. We will definitely have to get like new like cage type things on on the lights there. Um, but other than that, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, tell me what you think of this thing. Um, I think it looks really good. Uh, I put so much time and effort into this thing. Uh, but yeah, everything's filled up. Uh, the clutch is a little finicky. Uh, we had to like I don't know like make it better or something. But it should be fine for now. Um, it works. Uh, I run, ran it around uh, tomorrow when I start recording again. I will show you. I'll ride it. I might ride it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But um, but yeah, for right now, this is all we've got. Um, I'm going to go put the, I have like red valve stem caps, so I'm going to put those on. Oh, okay, it's been a hot minute before I recorded. Um, so, I'm back, that's why I haven't posted in a while, um, so basically what's been happening is I've been riding around testing, just making sure things are perfect and tuned up the way I want them to be, um, like I showed you in a couple clips ago, or the last clip, I was going to work on the taillight, and I didn't right then, I have it done now, I have all of this, um, in, but now we took this this front piece part apart, front piece apart. Um, so we're making so down here. If you can see this, this is hooked up here, and this is not. This runs up to here, which is when you pull in the brake handle, it makes the rear light like light up brighter. So so people know when you're stopping and stuff but yeah we're still trying to figure out that mess um, but my clutch is not doing too well right now because look it doesn't do anything doesn't do anything doesn't do anything yet but now it'll finally move but it barely moves this clutch bracket You can see that it barely moves that. So we, this is not even the right clutch bracket. That's why this is in a weird angle like this. So we have to like, like try and make a new one, I guess. Yes, I'm sorry. It's muddy. I was just, I just sprayed it off the last time I used it because I had to bring it in here and work on it real quick. So that's that's why it's all muddy. Yes, I've been riding it a little bit, but we will definitely have to get riding it on film. I just didn't because I was making sure everything was good. But yeah, for right now, that's basically all that we have. Um, so let's um, keep trying to figure out this this right here. And the back light back here is not hooked up right now because things are a mess right now still trying to get things just it's just a mess right now but yeah lots of things have changed in here as you can see not really a mess anymore 
but yeah so that's basically the end of this video um thank you guys so much for watching um i really appreciate your support um so i hope you liked the video like subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one peace Woo!